Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a day in my life as a wildlife biologist at work, but this is going to be the winter edition. I am not traveling very much. I'm actually working in the office a lot. I have not been out in the field for a while. So I think this is a very realistic look about what I do on a daily basis. I'm not always out checking out cool animals and running around being adventurous. Sometimes I'm just working in the office. So here's a look into my average day as a wildlife biologist. I am working from home a lot, so I'm actually not gonna be in the office. So I'm gonna be, if you don't notice, I'm gonna be actually in my house. So I usually start off my days waking up around seven or eight o'clock. It's Canada, so it's still dark outside. I should not have stayed up too late. I should go back to bed, but I gotta work. So I'm gonna check my emails and see if anyone emailed me urgently to see if I can afford 10 more minutes in bed, maybe. Nope. Turns out I have to work. I'm gonna do a headstand before I start working. Make myself some coffee. I sing Taylor Swift songs with my cat you while making my morning coffee. That's ever been cat doesn't mine. really like it that much. I remember we were sitting there by the water. You put your arms around me for the first time. Now the day begins. And I started my work staring at a computer screen all day. I'm gonna quickly talk to you because I've had this question asked a few times was, what I think about the oil and gas industry. This one is a really hard question. I do not support forever us using fossil fuels and I've actually been doing about 50% of my work now in renewables, which is really exciting. A wind turbine is gonna have huge effects on migrating birds. So there's still a lot of stuff to go through with renewable projects. I decided for my lunch break to go and walk over to a local cafe with my boyfriend. We had really delicious lunch, lots of coffee. It's a super cute cafe that has yoga there too, so I just love hanging out there. We had these butter tarts for dessert. They were so good. I should probably talk about what I'm actually doing. This morning I am working on an environmental site assessment, that's what we call them, and it is covering the environmental impact of a new development that is going to be put in. We did wildlife habitat assessments. You can actually see me doing them in the vegan biologist stuck in a northern work camp video which you guys I will link to above but I was doing those wildlife habitat assessments and now I'm writing them up there's so much more than just wildlife we're looking at plants we're looking at vegetation we're looking at the archaeological impact to maybe archaeological sites traditional use sites for indigenous people these reports are a big part of what you do if you're an environmental consultant. Um, so today I'm taking my field data that I gathered in August and I'm writing it up and looking at it critically to really pull out the important parts of it. So yeah, maybe I saw a squirrel or something on a tree, but that's not really that important. The most important thing would be that I saw a species at risk in a tree next to a wetland that's right on the footprint of where construction is going through. So I want to pull that information out and say, hey, look, there's habitat for Canada warbler here. So we got that nice, thick, um, mixed wood forest right next to a riparian area. I'm starting to finally get to know my species enough to remember ideal habitat for every species at risk, but I identified that there is that habitat specifically on the construction footprint and we're within the Canada Warbler range. So I'm gonna say in my report, yeah, this project 
has the potential to impact Canada warbler. So then I have to do that with every single species, so it takes a really long time. So say I see caribou are impacted by new access through forested areas. Okay, creation of new access routes through forested areas. A construction project's gonna do that. A construction project is going to cut right through a forested area. So then now I know, okay, maybe caribou are gonna be impacted by this project. So then I wanna pull out as much research as I can, so that's why I am going through books, textbooks, um, research projects from universities, looking online, talking with experts and saying, hey, do you really think that there's gonna actually be an impact to this animal due to this project going through? Yes, okay, here is exactly how the project's gonna impact caribou. So let's create as few access routes as we can. Use existing roads to access the construction footprint through the caribou range. There's always gonna be some impact, but this is just, it's almost like harm reduction. We're trying to reduce the amount of animal impact for projects. So this is a big bulk of what I do. I really like this type of work because it allows me to kind of take a deep dive into the actual impacts, all of this research that all these PhD students, master students are doing. Um, I'm actually looking at your guys' research and I'm using it to help recommend the most sustainable solutions to new infrastructure developments. This is kind of the real life applicable version of all of the research that you see and how we actually use it to make decisions on animals and the landscape. Around 4.30, I finished with work, checked my Instagram, saw a bunch of messages from you guys on my Instagram, which is awesome. I started posting new wildlife job postings that I come across on my Instagram page at vegan below zero. I posted some of the new postings that I saw on my story for you guys to check out. I then used the Goodreads app, which is this app I'm kind of obsessed with to uh, check out the books that I wanted to read and my friend and I were starting a book club so I wanted to go through the books that she read and then try to find out which ones we both wanted to read so we could pick that one for our book club. I'm not sponsored by Goodreads by the way. I wish. I then spent the evening reading a book that I found in the trash bin. Then I realized uh, I hadn't eaten anything all day except for a piece of toast and a whole bunch of crackers and hummus and two giant coffees. That's probably why I feel incredibly sick to my stomach. So I decided to make some dinner, just had some veggies and pasta, simple and easy because I'm lazy. Ate some dinner and fell asleep on the couch. So that was my day. Super exciting and riveting, I know. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel below. Click the little bell to get notifications when I post new videos. And thanks for watching.